Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm Liesl from VA Wonder. Do you want to make your text stand out with a bold and modern look? In this video, I'll show you how to fill your letters with photos using canvas letter frames. It's quick, fun and super eye-catching. If you enjoy Canva tutorials, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more. Open your new design in Canva, then go to Elements and search for background image. I've searched an image for avocados, so here my recently used. I found this fun avocado image. Now drag these sliders and increase your image size so that your image fills the background. When you're happy with the image, make sure that you drag these sliders in right to the edges of your canvas. This is a very important step. Okay, so now you will see that this image comes right to the edge of our canvas. Now we will go back to Elements, search Frame, Frames, See All. And you can scroll down, so choose your letters. So I need an A, a V, and an O. Select all three frames and make them the size that you would like it to be. Now I'm just going to make sure that they are in fact the size that I want. I see the V is a little bit bigger, so bring it in line with the A. We will do the same with the O. You can right click and then go to space evenly, tidy up. And Canva will help you to tidy up your letters a little bit. You might want to space it even a little bit better. So just play around until this is correct because after this, you won't be able to move it again. Now select your three letters, duplicate them by clicking on this little button, click group to make a group of it and just move it to the top for now, because we are going to use these to create a little shadow later on. Now it's time to fill in our letters. The next step, we are going to repeat three times. So click on your background image, Right click, duplicate, and make sure that you put this image exactly on top of the other one. Okay, then right click again and go to layers, show layers. So we are going to work with the layers. Okay, so move this top layer underneath the A. Okay, then use your sliders and bring that image in completely. So right up to the edge of the A, you're at the top, at the bottom, you're on the side, onto the furthest edge, and also you're on the left side, touching the furthest left point of the A. Okay, now move your layer that you've just created above the A, click onto it and drag it slightly, and then you will see the outline of the A appear. That means that this layer is now going to go into the A, okay? And when you leave it, you will see it disappear. And when you look here on the left-hand side on your layer, you can see that the, that the A and the background has become one. We're going to do that again. So click on your background. You can duplicate it. Make sure that you put it exactly on top of the other one. Drag it down underneath the V. Now use your sliders again, come down exactly onto the V at the top, here at the bottom, on the right side, and on the left hand side. Okay, now we are going to move this on top of the V, click onto it and drag it slightly until you see the V appear and then release your mouse. And now when you look at the layers, you can see that those two have clicked into each other. Okay, we're going to do this one more time. So click onto your background, duplicate, make sure that it is exactly on top of the other one. Move it underneath the O so that you can see, drag down your sliders. Okay. 
move that image above the O, click onto it, drag it slightly until you can see the outlines and release. Okay, so now we are going to go back to our background image. We're going to click on transparency. You can bring the transparency down as much as you like. And then you can see here yeah, your AVO layers is appearing. If we take it away completely, let me just move it. There you can see the cutout. So that might also be something that you want to do. But for this example, I'm going to leave this as transparent. Let's have a look. Let's do it at, say, 50%. And now I want to make this A, V, and O stand out a little bit more. So we need a shadow. Now, if you go to the usual Canva tool and you click on the A and you go to edit, I'll just show you, the picture inside will actually move around a little bit. So it won't be as accurate as you can see here. Okay, let me just show you. You can see what happens. So we don't want to do that. So we are going to make a different plan. So let's go and grab these letters that we've saved earlier on here at the top of the image. So let's add some color to them. I'm going to come down here to the photo colors and I think I'm going to go for this bright mustardy happy yellow. Click onto each letter and color that. So now I'm going to bring this group down and just place it below your original AVO letters that you've created so a little bit below and a little bit to the right or wherever you want your shadow to be placed then right click layer show layers and now we are going to bring this yellow avo word right down underneath now you can adjust it and just move it around until you're happy with the exact position okay i think that looks pretty good but i want to do one more step to make this word stand out even more. So I'm going to click on the A. I'm going to come up here to border style and I'm going to add a border. I think I'm going to do this little dotted line. I'm going to this little circle color and this will be the border color. And I want to use that dark green that's in the picture. So I'm going to change it. I like that quite a bit. So now right click copy style and simply click onto your V, right click, copy style and click onto your O. And this is the final result. If you've loved this quick Canva tutorial, hit like and subscribe for more how-to tutorials. Let me know in the comments what word would you try next. Great, you're still here, so maybe you want to watch another video. In that case, I will suggest this video, how to use the clipping mask in Canva. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.